Lori Houston's News for the Heart is dedicated to helping you give a voice to your own soul. Our hearts have the power to free us from pain and the struggles that keep us from awakening to our true essence. Join Lori now as we delve into our heart and soul to find the path that will open us to the possibilities and lead us to the life we love to live. News for the Heart. I'm Lori Houston, and this is my guest, mm. Susan Housen. And we are doing, well, we're going to talk all about the work that you do. And I have a good feeling that I might be taking <laughs> your, <laughs> your <laughs> coaching course. But we're going to talk all about that. I do want to mention that I'd like to bring up these incredible mm. cards that Susan has created. And it's the Manifest Your Magnificence cards for kids and the kid in you. Yes, because it isn't just for kids, but correct. it is beautiful, and it is a teaching tool, correct? Yes, it as is. part of your tool that you have with your coaching? or it, it is a tool, absolutely, that I use in the coaching, and it can be used with coaching, and it can be used independently, even nice. if you haven't had the coaching. Yes, it's, it's uh, very powerful. So many years ago, I um, was given a mantra by the divine that said, I am right. the two most important words in the world for whatever we put after them creates our reality. Think about that. Yeah. How many things do we say after I am that are not so positive and not so life affirming? Yeah. And so I was guided to um, develop these affirmation cards because they're all... Uh, I am statements, and there are 64 different ones in a box. They're very colorful. Uh, young kids love the color. Yeah. Uh, older kids love the words, and the adults love them because it touches our inner child. Yeah. Yay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> now, you chose four cards I before did. coming here, or while well, you were here. Yes, I did. And I keep doing this because the mirror of the uh, camera. <laughs> oh, that's so all right. <laughs> I am leader yes and behind it does have yes on the back of each card is a statement that supports the i am that's on the front right and it encourages us to look at ways that we can actually put into practice the i am statement that's on the front nice so this one says i create what i want in the world mm. with open arms absolutely he's like excited he's excited about yes that. I am playful. <laughs> Yay. I take time to have fun and enjoy life. And That's he's, right. He's on a skateboard mm -hmm. swirling around. Well, he's on a skateboard here, too. Yes. Nice. I am focused. I am focused. <laughs> I finish what I begin, which is what what it took to get on the air this you know? today. <laughs> Absolutely. I am not sure what's going on with the, uh, you think Merc Mercury's out of retrograde. Yeah. It may not be quite out of the shadow period, but seriously. <laughs> maybe it was a the, clearing. That needs maybe to it was the new moon in Gemini. <laughs> well, and I am a Gemini, so there you go. Ah. My birthday was a couple of days ago. Oh, All happy right. birthday. Thank you. I am caring. Mm, yes. I treat everything around me with tenderness and love. Nice. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, I also know because I might have referred somebody that these cards are going to become an app. Yes, I'm so excited about that. Um, the cards are fabulous and, and they, they are, are all around the world. I have um, French stickers and uh, Spanish stickers that people can put on them oh, nice. uh, that are translated for the words. And I wanted to uh, be able to have a, a more wide impact with them. And technology is you know, our world these days. Yeah. So, yes, we're developing an app, and it's it's going to be um, fully, very animated. fully animated, and it's going to, there's going to be a hub, and people can uh, invite others to it. Nice. There's going to be a coaching component to it. Nice. So kids can ask questions, and adults wow. can ask questions, and, and they'll, they'll get the opportunity to get some powerful questions asked around that and if they still need some more coaching then there'll be the opportunity to actually get in touch with a, a, a life coach nice mm -hmm. nice very nice yeah now I'm how long excited. have you had these cards you've 
oh boy, these cards have been around for over 10 years now. And how long have you been doing the coaching? It was, did well, the cards come question. first? No, no. They they kind of came simultaneously. Okay. So the the coaching, um, I say that there's two answers. One is that I've been coaching forever, yeah. and the other is I've been coaching professionally and as a certified coach for probably now 15 years. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Something like that, yeah. So when I was going through the coaching program I took, I knew that I needed to do something with this I am – Right. mantra that that I got and and other things that that I was downloading and one of the women that was in the program I would talk to her about it and I said I just don't know how to do that and she said well I do because that's my genius so <laughs> the universe brought everybody nice. that needed to come together to come together and created the the product and there's a cd a couple of cds one that have three girls and three boys speaking the words to music so it has that nlp uh, impact cool. as well as three wi uh, women and three men doing the same thing. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. And so <clears throat> why kids? What, what was your motivation for bringing I, this up? I love that question and I get that question all the time. My motivation is that my background is that I, I teach part-time at uh, the university and um, in my work uh, also um, in city programs as well as I've, I've lived on Native Reserve and um, my work with kids, my research with kids and families, I knew that there needed to be something to support kids to be all that they could be, to manifest their magnificence, to uh, increase their self-esteem and their self-worth because um, we've all experienced something that was either said to us or something that happened to us as a kid that had an impact either positive or negative mm -hmm. uh, for the rest of our lives and and so we often will coach adults because of something that happened when they were kids so i wanted to instill in kids and the kids in us uh, wonderful powerful positive uh, affirming messages that would support them in understanding what the treasures are in their heart, understanding what their, uh, the beauty is, the, all the incredible positive things about them so that they could then stand in that truth regardless of what goes on around them and to be able to move forward in uh, our world in, uh, and do the things that they know that they want to do and find out the things that they want to do mm -hmm. and be much, much happier and more fulfilled adults. Could you imagine what it would be like if every kid in the world had a set of these cards and, and really affirmed in their hearts who they be. I had a 57-year-old woman actually call me and say that she had been in therapy for over 20 years. That There's another interesting mm -hmm. thing, however. Mm -hmm. She said that she started using my cards and the cards had uh, more of, a, of an impact than the 20 years of, of therapy. Wow. That's just one of the examples. I had That's a parent crazy. call me and say that her son has uh, rheumatoid uh, uh, arthritis, childhood rheumatoid arthritis, which mm. is very, very painful. Mm. And um, the only thing that, uh, and I may cry, the only thing that kept him alive was him singing the cards. Aww. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Another parent who contacted me and said that her little guy came home from school and was obviously very distraught, threw his uh, knapsack down, went to the dining room table. She asked, asked him what was going on. He couldn't talk about it. Got all the cards, there's 64 cards in a box, threw them out, all out on the table, went and picked out three, brought them over to mom, and that's how the conversation started. Oh, that's great. Isn't that awesome? That is great. Yeah. There's a, a little girl that I worked with who was having um, some problems in school. I'm looking for the card here. And uh, when we were coaching, her favorite card was this one here. Aww. Am I doing it right? You are doing it right. Yay. I'm, I'm a, a winner. winner. And so, and it says, I choose to walk tall and feel good about who I, who I be. Um, and so when somebody was bothering her at school, she would hold up the card and say, leave me alone. I'm a winner. Aww. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. There's tons and tons and tons and tons of examples. It just, it fills my soul and, and yeah, as I yeah. said, brings tears and 
And when you know the, the positive impact it has, I want everybody in the world to have some. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they kind of go together, the, the coaching do. program and the cards. Yes. And they're a good way to get kids to talk. Absolutely. It's a, a phenomenal way to, uh, as I said, start a conversation, to get kids talking about things uh, in a, a much deeper way than they would have previously. The cards are used uh, in a variety of different ways in, in the program as a coaching tool. Right. Sometimes, um, for example, we will, uh, I'll get people to have the kids pull a card to set the intention for the day. Right. So, for example, how can we all as a family be more caring? And then to talk about it okay. at the dinner table or before going to bed, that kind of thing. Uh, another very powerful way is to have kids go through them and pick out two or three that they really know that they are. Okay. And then pick two or three that they don't think that they are. Mm, interesting. And then to get really curious about that. Right. It's a very, very powerful way to learn more about what your kids are, are thinking about themselves and what they're feeling about themselves. Cool. I do it as a f with families too. I do use them as with teams. What, what are we finding in our team? What okay. are we not finding in our team? What are we seeing in our family? What are we not seeing in our family? What would we like to see more of? Uh, it's a way of affirming somebody else as well. So I'll pick two or three that I know that you are. Right. And then right. you get to pick two or three that you know that I am. And then the coach has a conversation with both of the people around what that's about and that's what's cool. it like to hear that. Right. Because we cool. often, yeah, we often hear mm -hmm. the not Negative. so great yeah. things. It's really wonderful. <laughs> Whether constructive or not, Correct. it's, uh, we often, more often hear what we're not mm -hmm. good at because mm -hmm. that's kind of how it works. And yeah. And that's one of the other reasons that I did it is that in my training uh, and my university education, a lot of it was around working with kids with extra support needs. Oh, and right. it really looked at what was wrong with them rather than what mm. was right. And I could never, ever uh, subscribe to that motto. I was always doing training looking at what was right with kids. And so that's what the cards and the training, Kids nice. Coaching Connection training is all about, is around supporting, looking at always what's right with us. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, you've been a coach longer Correct. than doing the kids coaching. Correct. How do you see that coaching has changed? Like, how do you see the difference between, I don't know, yeah. 15 years ago, coaching that kind of do-do-do and this? Mm -hmm. I, I love that question. One of the reasons that I developed the Kids Coaching Connection program was because when I was going through uh, my coaching training, the coaching really focused on business training. That's, mm -hmm. you know, it's important. You know, I, I worked in senior management uh, for the city. It, it really supports business. It really needs to be there. And uh, I also knew that it needed to be also focused on kids, youth, and families. Right. Because there wasn't a lot out there that, that came from a coaching model. So there's a couple of things that have, I've seen uh, shifting. Number one is the understanding and uh, the power of coaching in and of itself. So when you speak coaching now, uh, you don't have to explain it quite as much as you used no, to definitely. 15 years ago, <laughs> which is lovely. The other thing that I'm very excited about is that more and more people are seeing and understanding and calling me and, and asking questions about how does this relate to kids, families, and youth. Mm. And uh, it excites me because when I first started this, I was the only person. Mm. And even people in the coaching community would say to me, you're nuts. Like, what are you doing? You, you know, you <laughs> focus on business, focus on you focus can't where coach, the money is. Focus where the money is. <laughs> and, you, and the other thing was, you, you can't coach kids. What? That actually is not true. Uh, well, you can coach. Hello. Yes, hello. <laughs> and as I said, we're all kids and big skin. Absolutely. Right? So what I love about coaching kids is that they get it so much quicker than mm -hmm. adults because they don't have what I call the blankets on their, in their blanket box. They don't have the filters. 
They get things so much quicker that they will uh, process things faster and come to greater awareness quickly. Mm. And one of the things in, in the program that the foundation is that um, all kids are perfect, whole, complete, creative, resourceful, and knowing, and so are we as adults. And so it really supports them in their knowing of who they be. And that uh, is supported by the cards, too. Mm. Yeah. So that's a big shift in, in where coaching has, has come. And that, that, for me, is very exciting, as I said. Come on, more and more people. <laughs> we need to be having more and more kids, uh, youth, and family coaches. Right. Yeah. Now, could it get into the school system? Like, is that? Oh, I would love that. Wouldn't that be awesome? I would love it. So I do, I actually do do work in school systems. So I uh, worked, uh, for example, just recently in a school in Peel. Fabulous, amazing principal who really gets the importance of uh, supporting the development of his team okay. as well as supporting the teachers and understanding how to relate to kids more powerfully and more impactfully. Right. And so I worked with the, the staff and the teachers around building their team from a coaching model yeah. and also in teaching them coaching skills that they could then utilize in the classroom. Mm. So they were utilizing the coaching skills in their class and also utilizing the coaching skills with each other. That's powerful. Very powerful. And he has had other principals and vice principals come to the school to see it because it really is a model. Cool. It's very cool. I also had um, a past student of mine who is a teacher who's gone through the full Kids Coaching Connection program. And before she became a full-time teacher, she had contracts. And as a contract teacher, she was so good at what she did because she utilized the uh, skills that she learned in Teachers College as well as the Kids Coaching Connection program that she was a model classroom. Mm. Love that. The kids just loved her, loved her, loved her, loved her. And the program won an award through the International Coach Federation, uh, the PRISM Award, a few years ago for the uh, impact it had in the Boys and Girls Clubs around Ontario, oh. where the staff were being seeing uh, a huge impact on the relationships that they had with the kids. The kids were telling other kids, you have to come now to my after-school program and summer program because the counselors, they rock. You know, they're just so mm -hmm. great. They listen to me. They, they ask me questions. I know they really care about me. Mm -hmm. All the principals that should be there in every program in every school. So uh, one of the exciting things is that we've had many teenagers go through the program now that are going back into their high school. Yeah. and utilizing the coaching program and changing the culture of their school. Hmm. I would love this as a um, two things. One thing in, in Teachers College, could you imagine? Mm. And also uh, to teach kids, more kids, the coaching skills so that they can go back and... See, I think this is the one place where our school systems are failing the kids mm. because, I mean, for so many reasons, but, you know, our the primary teaching in classroom is using auditory and visual. Right. And most of the kids these days have, you know, that's, those are not their dominant senses. Correct. And so we're really kind of falling short, but we also don't look at life skills. Like we don't, mm. unless you're in, you know, a different program, which is not geared towards academics, right? Right. You're not really looking at how can I, you know, how can I grow? How can I evolve? How can I be more of me? Instead, mm. we're kind of teaching them, you know, information that they are likely never going to use, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. Our system is based on a system that has been around for a very long time. Very long and time. It, was, it was set up for a very specific reason. Yes. And we're finding more and more kids are, are challenging the system because more and more kids are being born that are very highly intuitive, highly knowing, highly sensitive, and they're going into a system that doesn't understand those things and, and don't, doesn't necessarily embrace it. 
And so I have teachers who I coach who say to me, I don't understand why this kid is answering my question before I even asked it. <laughs> right. right. Or, or the little kid that comes up and says, wow, you have a beautiful angel standing behind you. Mm. Mm. And the teacher and parent kind of going, ooh, what the heck is that all about? Yeah. And so understanding the importance of uh, can helping kids connect and stay connected to that is really critical. And so uh, new skills need to be taught and yeah, definitely. brought into <laughs> and brought into the school system. And there are teachers and, and principals like the ones that I work with. However, it needs to be more systemic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. more mainstream. I mean, mainstream. just just letting these kids create connections, right? right. Like real connections instead yeah. of information because yeah. it's it's not the information i mean especially since most of the information these days is going to change so dramatically in the next correct right everything they're being taught is going to be so outdated mm -hmm. well <laughs> part of it also is that it's difficult to teach something that you don't understand right well yeah yeah, but still, I mean, these. Ki I mean, if you let some of these kids teach, <laughs> well, exactly, and they do, yeah, and that's part yeah. of the challenge for the system right. is that the kids will often do the teaching, and yeah. I, I think, you know, hey, let them, because <laughs> they know what they need, they know what what is important, and they they understand it, yeah. and they embrace it. That's the beautiful yeah. thing. The work that that I do with the kids that. Um, really get it and 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 want it they will they will move forward and they will embrace it incredibly i had a, a 12 year old and thank goodness she had wonderful parents who um experienced something at school where uh something was happening i don't need to say what it was that was really from a social justice standpoint not okay right and she really understood that and so through our coaching, she said, no, this is not okay, and this is what I want to do about it. So mm. um, she got a petition together. She had all the students write, write on the petition. She um, sent it to the, the, mm. the superintendent, spoke to the, the principal about it, you know, and, and it actually went to the media. Oh, and, yeah, perfect. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. Uh, from her perspective, it was beautiful. Right. And the principal was really challenged by that. Because mm -hmm. here's this 12-year-old that's saying, this is not okay. <laughs> and so he said to her, you either stop or you have to leave the school. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we coached around that. And her understanding and uh, awareness of social justice was so great that she said, okay. She left? And so she left. Okay. Was that the best for her? It, it, it was, was the best for her at right. that point in time. And what did she, she go to another school that she was went, more progressive? Correct. She went mm -hmm. to another school that it, because she's very open and honest about who she be and what she's all about and what she stands for. And she went to a school where um, that have students having a voice was honored. Hmm. And she's, you know, it's not like every day she would no, complain about not. things. She has a really deep understanding and awareness of social justice. That's, that's one example. There are right. many, many other examples. Yeah. The kid in the playground who, you know, the no-touch world. Mm. Somebody falls down and gets hurt. There's kids that will run over and, and hug that kid and bring them to, to the office and stay with them and... And um, I work with kids who are also healers. Nice. And so they will do healing with that, that kid. And for some teachers and some principals, that can challenge them. Yeah, I wondered how we got so far away from some of the things that we mm. actually need. It's kind of funny. It's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's disturbing it, in many ways. It can be, <laughs> yes. And, and it's also... Uh, I feel really excited because there are more principals who are embracing it, like the principal I was telling you about, 
there are more students who are standing in, in the truth of who they be regardless of what's happening around them mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that the the cards and the program really promote and so because they're able to do that there are more uh, teachers and principals that are actually listening that's great and there's more research that's out there that um, speaks about from a metaphysical perspective what's important and what what kids need and what we all need and and the connections that we all have and so um, you know mindfulness is a, a big word these days in mm. schools and everywhere people are understanding the importance of uh, being aware of impact and what is the impact that we want to have and and what's our contribution as a as a person as a soul in in our world to that um, and it happens with two three year olds as well as 20 mm. 30 year olds as well as 200 and 300 year olds <laughs> yeah I, I I'd like to change it to uh, heartfulness <laughs> yeah, well, I love that because the um, in the Kids Coaching Connection program, the the whole basis of it is based in the heart. Right. Clearly. So it it the program and uh, is all about um, connecting the heart and the head. True. And you know, is our uh, is our mind important? Absolutely. I work at a university. <laughs> it has to be important. However, it's not the first thing. Right. The first thing is our heart. And we have to uh, understand and embrace uh, the importance of that. You know, Mother Teresa had it right when she said, don't invite me to a war rally because I'll never show up. Invite me to a peace rally and I'll be there every single time. Because she got what we focus on increases. And so when we focus on love and the heart, that's what increases. Hmm. The water project. You know, we know mm -hmm. the importance of positive and love. You know, love melts all blockages. Mm. Imagine the healing that we can do in our world with more and more heart-based and heart-centered programs uh, and everything. The way mm. we interact with people, the way we are in relationship. And it's something that can be fostered. Right. And so, um, because I know that, uh, that's the other exciting thing about the app, that it's going to support that in being fostered uh, even more and uh, developing the program more so more and more people can access it uh, is an exciting thing, too. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Um, it's funny, you know, I was in an interview earlier today and we were talking about I, the one coaching that I do is called embraining mm. and it's talking about the multiple brains that we have so of course it acknowledges our mind and our mind is very powerful when it's in alignment with everything else mm -hmm. it it's creative mm -hmm. right like our mind really is just a huge computer mm -hmm. so we fill it with data which can be empowering and it can assist us and help us in many ways we kind of have overvalued the mind a bit. I mm -hmm. think that's part of, you know, we've, and I think even the kids kind of acknowledge that, you know, we think too much, but mm. we, we also fill ourselves with too much mm -hmm. knowledge and don't really get the wisdom out of it. But the heart is, you know, the heart is where if, when in alignment, it's all about compassion. And the gut is the one that we kind of miss, mm -hmm. but our gut is so powerful because it's, it's the protector and it needs to feel safe. And if it doesn't feel safe, then it blocks the heart mm -hmm. and it keeps us in our head Right. <laughs> where we keep going through patterns, which is all about, you know, either the past or worrying about the future. Correct. We're never in the present moment when we're in our head. Right. And the only time we're in the present moment is when we're in our heart and we're in our body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's yeah. kind of what I talk about in my new book, but yay, yay. <laughs> at least the heart part on how to get into your heart. And, you know, it's really quite simple, mm -hmm. but we need to be able to connect with the heart. So mm -hmm. there's something we've made up about um, valuing, which one we value more. Yes. 
And for some reason, you know, they, as you said, we value the Education, intellect. And yeah, and yeah. Yeah. And um, it is valuable. Absolutely. Because it helps us to do what it is that we need to do. However, we only find out what we need to do when we connect with our heart. Right. And, you know, some people who can create that connection with their soul, with their heart, mm. with they don't really need to feel their head because right. they can download the data that they need at the time that they need it. And it's always in the present moment. Mm -hmm. So that's why some of these kids don't value education at all. Correct. Because one, it's inundated and it's outdated and, you know, it's not really helpful for living. Mm -hmm. It can be. <laughs> it can be right. very supportive. It can be very creative. And it is the creative part of us. The, stum the stomach, the gut is all about courage. Mm -hmm. We need the courage, but we need the creativity to... Correct to move anywhere to to even to dream mm -hmm. right but we can do it with the heart leading instead of the head leading because mm -hmm. the, the heart knows right right and that that's one of the principles in the kids coaching connection program is that we're all perfect whole complete creative resourceful and knowing and so what the coach does is support kids youth families adults to come to their own knowing because we do. It's just things have muddled us. And when we are able to get clear and present, as you said, and, and really focus in our heart, the knowing comes. Right. And when we have that knowing, then, like that 12-year-old, she knew. She, she And she was totally aligned with who she be. And it was able to move forward in that knowing. The number of adults that I uh, coach that are not happy in the jobs that they do. Because as right. kids, they really didn't get the chance to look at what is in their heart. Mm. Mm. What they really value. And that was, that's one of the other reasons that the, the cards are very powerful is because they help kids and adults figure that out. Imagine what our world would be like if people were actually happy in their jobs and fulfilled. Wow. <laughs> yes. Because they were, they were moving forward from their heart. The number of teenagers that I coach that and, and actually students of mine as well who say to me, you know, I really wanted to do this or to be this. However, in our family, mm -hmm. everyone is a dot 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 fill in the blank yeah. and so because they are uh, guided by their parents mm -hmm. and they don't have the strength in their in their soul to number one really understand what it is that they're wanting to do and who they be and the the magnificence of themselves and number two to to be able to speak that and stand in that truth and to say, you know what, I love you, Mom and Dad. Mm -hmm. However, I, I, I want to be a musician. I don't want to be that doctor. Or right. I don't want to be that plumber. Or I don't want to be whatever it might be. Right. You know, I want to be that astronaut. I don't want to be the person working at McDonald's. It goes both ways. And so the coaching really supports kids in being able to um, learn what it is that uh, is in their heart. And to stay present to it, as you were saying. Right. You know, I wonder sometimes about, you know, we usually, unless it's the case where your parents have completely, you know, pushed you in a certain direction, we usually pick areas that we like. The biggest problem in most jobs or in all of life is that it's the relationships that we have mm. with others mm -hmm that causes the conflict even though those relationships those very relationships were set there to assist you to learn something about right. yourself but we tend to it's like we want to resist we want to make the outside world how we become inside mm. 
instead of making our inside world mm. reflect our outer world. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like it's like we we blame everybody else because we're always looking outside for our happiness. We're always saying, well, if you know this person wasn't that way and this person wasn't that way and my, well, if my mother, you know, mm -hmm. if they weren't and we're not realizing that everything comes from within like mm -hmm. everything starts here first it's your conflict around the learning process the part of you that's resisting mm. growing or the mm -hmm. part of you that's resisting the understanding of that happiness is an inner in, emotion job, it's yeah. an it yeah it's an inside job it's not something i that's what i loved about inside out that yes it was a beautiful example and it kept showing oh look she's getting sad so sh they would so joy would bring up uh -huh. something it's it's like realizing that it's the inside mm -hmm. it's it's not the outside that is forcing you or making you react a certain way it's right. it's our feelings towards those things or it's our memories or our past mm -hmm. or whatever but it's if you're present and in the moment and in the now you're you can make a choice correct yeah we talk about in the program um there's three relationships the first relationship which is the most important relationship is with ourselves <laughs> <laughs> of course and hence, you know, the using the cards and, and supporting kids to really understand themselves mm -hmm. and, and what is important for them and what, what um, does make their heart sing and, and how to be able to express that in a way that others will understand and, and, and to take responsibility for it because it's about taking responsibility. And then the second relationship is with other. Whether it be mother, father, you know, other kids in your school, in your workplace, it doesn't matter where it is, because we're always in relationship with our nature, with our with our animals, everything. Mm -hmm. And so, how do we want to show up with others, and and what is the intent that we have in that relationship? Right. And again, intention huge. Intention is huge, and <laughs> we and and when we understand the relationship of ourselves and who we be, we can be more in right relationship with others and not, not get into judgment mm -hmm. because we are, are um, supporting ourselves and speaking from our heart about what's important for us and honoring and, and allowing others to do the same. Right. And then the third relationship is the relationship we have with the universe mm. so what what is it that we were put here on earth for because we all were and so understanding the relationship and and what's important for us being in right relationship with others really supports the understanding and the development of how to bring it out into the world and to be that shining star and to let others be their shining star it's not about competition. Right. It's about let me let me help you reach higher because I know when I do that you're going to support me in reaching higher. Right. And who you are doesn't necessarily mean what you do. Correct. It's the essence that you shine. Mm -hmm. It's that mm -hmm. which these cards are lovely because they can allow that essence to develop to grow because right. that's what really your I am mantras are all about they're about who you are on the inside right absolutely it's it's all about who you are on the inside right not what you do correct or what you show correct but who you are yeah and allowing a w giving that a voice yes. giving that beautiful mm. light mm -hmm. a way to shine mm-hmm and that's exactly it. How, how do you then shine that in the world? Whatever it might be. Right. Because whatever uh, you do, whatever exactly. you choose. Because you can be a doctor even though that was what your parents forced you mm -hmm. into. And shine the light that is you. Correct. Absolutely. You can be a janitor at a school. You can do whatever. You, anything. Just stop making it outside. And Correct. be inside. Yeah. 
yeah it's it's about showing up and being all that you can be wherever you be hmm. yeah so you know if you're in a elevator if you're in the grocery store yeah there you are there you are <laughs> and that's you know those are sometimes our biggest shows mm. you know when you when you're we let so much of life get to us mm -hmm. because we get boggled down by I mean it's so easy to do because you walk and you are walking into other people's energy mm -hmm. who may be having a bad day who mm -hmm. you know and we don't realize how often we pick up that stuff and right. don't don't realize it's not ours right like that's the thing with road rage mm -hmm. you know because especially with Mars being in retrograde mm. for so long, um, it's so easy to pick up. That aura of energy, especially rage, uh, is so powerful. Mm -hmm. And we can get caught up in that and not even realize that, I mean, when I do get caught up, I often will laugh at myself. Right. Because that's really the only way to diffuse yes. it. Because <laughs> it's such a intense, heavy energy. Yeah. Right? And it's like, whoa, wait, wait a minute, yeah, that's yeah. not me. <laughs> that I don't from? care. <laughs> I'm not in a hurry. Yes. Right? So, but when we're in it all the time, like when we go to the grocery store mm -hmm. and, you know, someone's having a really bad day mm -hmm. and we don't realize it. And, you know, when we take it out on other people and we're not even realizing that we are in an energy that's not ours. Mm. That is such an important um, thing you just said there, Lori because one of the things that we really need to be aware of is that you don't know the impact that you have on mm -hmm. someone. Um, I get calls from people all the time. I met you five years ago, um, and you spoke to me about this. And... I now want to take your program five mm -hmm. years later. I've been following you. Uh, every, you know, three to six months, I'll go and check out your website. Mm -hmm. And it just wasn't the time. But because of what you said to me in our conversation, it really sparked something in me. Mm -hmm. And so they follow through with it. And it happens all the time. We don't realize that how we show up everywhere we show up has an impact yeah. on whoever's there yeah. again whether it be a person an animal nature and so coming from our heart and and being in integrity with the uh, treasures that are in our heart right. will have an incredible impact on us right. I've had students say to me because I use a card to begin every class nice yeah nice. and i i associate it with whatever i'm teaching that day nice and they said to me uh, at the end of the semester you are the reason that i'm actually still here on this planet oh powerful <laughs> very powerful and it's because of supporting them and connecting to who they be yeah right it's a we forget right we forget we forget we all, all the forget. time <laughs> all the time i wish i didn't forget so much <laughs> <laughs> thank god i have my cards <laughs> i lent mine away to the person that's creating your app and i haven't gotten them back Are yet you serious? Yes. <laughs> well i just happened to have another set here <laughs> was a reason for that <laughs> but uh, yeah I mean it's it's great because we always need to remember like we just we need those mm. little pushes mm -hmm. to remind us of where we're headed right and why we're here mm -hmm. and our hearts right. you know we just it's like we know but we forget mm -hmm. we get caught up in life and yep. we forget and so then we you know we go to writers who mm -hmm. remind us or you know people that we resonate with mm -hmm. or 
and that's, you know, that's, I think that's that ever search or that seeking, you know, that person that it's really just to bring those people into our influence so that we can remember, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We know it. Yep. But we need these reminders all the time. All the time. So we seek. Yes. And we hope that somebody else is going to teach us something, but it's not. Yeah, exactly. It's mm -hmm. never the other person. It's just, they're just here to help remind us. Right. They're these, you know, our soul family right. or our... A way sure. <laughs> yeah, that we contracted in or whatever mm -hmm. to to just keep reminding us. And sometimes it takes us off path because some of the people we bring in mm. are kind of about True. discernment yes. and testing. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it's like we need to remember. And mm -hmm. so we look mm -hmm. and that's one of the reasons that i pull a card every morning nice to set the intention for the day let's talk about intentions because intentions are huge like they're really important mm -hmm. we don't realize the importance of it mm -hmm. when we are just kind of living moment to moment Correct. or kind of maybe the opposite when we get stuck in life instead of if we were living moment to moment well yeah you know what i mean i do <laughs> <laughs> so intentions talk about that because that's huge uh yeah absolutely and the intention of um supporting i'm gonna use myself as an mm -hmm. example supporting myself on my journey uh, some of those things that you talked about around remembering mm -hmm. uh, some of the things around what will support me today right. in um Con staying connected to those treasures that are within myself and how do I um, bring that to the world and support the world in seeing it in themselves as well and so one of the things as I said that that I do every morning is is pull at least one card nice. to set the intention for the day and it's always the perfect card of course <laughs> of course <laughs> I want to ask what your card is this morning. It was amazing, <laughs> amazing. That, that was my card this morning. I am amazing. Oh. <laughs> I always That's do. a beautiful intention. It is. I always do what's more than expected. <laughs> and and it, it, it is a, a powerful thing because it helps to keep us connected. Right. And it helps us to remember, to remind ourselves that part of us, like if... I am amazing. I mean, how many people need to hear mm. that every morning, right? Right, absolutely. And if you thought that and you knew that and you brought it into mm -hmm. your heart, how would that change how you felt right. during the day? And how would it change what you do during the day? Yeah. How, you know, how you interact with yourself, with others, what you say, how you say it, all of those different things. It, it creates a different world. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's the kind of world that, that I want. It's amazing, though, um, how many people have um, not uncovered those treasures. I know. And how many people um, actually don't believe in those treasures. So I use the cards a lot in my training and in organizations as well. And I have people um, pull a card and then... Uh, talk to the person beside them about the card and, and give an example of what's on that card. Nice. And there is often uh, at least two or three people in the group that say, I, I can't do that. Wow. Yeah. And so it's an opportunity for coaching them right. around what is it that makes you feel that, that you're not. And it's really telling because they present themselves, as you said, externally. They're these these beautiful people. They you know they 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 present themselves as very confident and competent sometimes, and yet when they look really deep inside, they're not. Right. And so mm -hmm. they're fearful to uh, make that next step or to ask the question that needs to be asked, uh, or a variety of different things. Hmm. And so it's an opportunity to see that and where it lies in that person and to have some uh, very powerful coaching conversations with them to support them in actually uncovering it right. and to see it. Right. Hmm. 
Nice. Mm -hmm. So tell us about this program. You have one coming up in July, I believe. I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so the Kids Coaching Connection program is a fully approved program with the International Coach Federation. It's the yes. only one of its kind in the world that focuses on coaching kids, youth, and families. It is uh, five courses, Divine Elementals, Divine Design, Divine uh, Possibilities, Divine Expressions, and Divine Connections. Nice. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it also uh, won an award, as I said, with the International Coach Federation, uh, the PRISM Award, mm -hmm. for the impact that the training had with the uh, Boys and Girls course in Ontario when we first did it. And uh, every course uh, goes in great depth and a lot of experiential uh, learning, uh, coaching strategies that uh, pertain to that particular co co um, course. So Divine Elementals goes through pretty much all of the course and goes through the philosophy of the program. Mm -hmm. Divine Design really looks at uh, the... Um, the treasures that are within ourselves and the kids that we work with and helping them uh, to find what those are and to stand in the truth of those. Divine Possibilities looks at uh, a variety of different viewpoints and possibilities because of our experiences, where we've come from, a variety of other things. We often limit ourselves and uh, the possibility of what... Um, uh, what we can do in the world and how we can let our light shine. And so when we understand through divine de uh, the divine design program what those treasures are, in the divine possibilities, you learn strategies around supporting kids to see things from a variety of different viewpoints. Nice. And when they see things from a variety of different viewpoints, they can focus on the ones that are true to their heart. Okay, right. And then Divine uh, Expressions is about supporting kids to be able to express what is in their heart. Mm. I really believe that a lot of the behavioral things that are happening these days is become, because, number one, kids don't know the emotions that they're feeling right. and don't know how to express them in, in a way that is uh, uh, effective and appropriate. And so it teaches about emotional intelligence, it supports kids in understanding the expressions and how to express it right. uh, without judgment. Right. And so uh, when they are able to connect with how they're feeling and what that's about, then they have the opportunity to look at all di a variety of different possibilities, mm -hmm. which then they can make uh, greater choices based on their divine design and the treasures that are in their heart. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then the, the last course is Divine uh, Connections because that's what it's all about, the relationship, as you were saying earlier. And so Divine Connections teaches strategies around coaching uh, more than one person. Okay. So you can coach families. You can coach uh, friends. You can coach people in organizations. Uh, you can coach yourself. So it's all about the connection to the heart and how to uh, utilize and be in relationship, uh, knowing what your own treasures are, looking at a variety of, of different possibilities, expressing what's important for you, allowing others to express what's important for them so that we can come to uh, a mutual understanding and to come to uh, a greater awareness of what the relationship is wanting. Because sometimes the relationship wants something different than sure. what you and I want. Sure. And so it really supports understanding how to, to coach around that in a very nice. powerful way. And that's the, the program. And then cool. you go on and get certified. And yes. Wow. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. Sounds. <laughs> I know that it's something I'm supposed to do. I so. do too. <laughs> So when uh, the week of July the so it starts <laughs> yes so there's a week the summer institute is a week in July and a week in August right so the uh, divine elementals and divine design uh, is July 11th to 15th and then the last three courses are in August which is August 8th to August 13th 
went out yeah. for money this Saturday. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It is. It's a uh, very powerful. It's being held at the Alt Hotel near the airport, which is a fabulous, uh, wonderful venue. Alt uh, means alternative. Oh, okay. So it's a very small boutique hotel mm. that comes out of Quebec. The people are absolutely fabulous. The mm. uh, venue is absolutely fantastic, really aligns with what Kids Coach and Connection is all about nice. and is very supportive of the program. Nice. Mm -hmm. mm. It's very nice. All right. Well, we are reaching our hour. Did oh, you wow. have anything? I know the time just flew by. Did it you did. have anything you wanted to bring up or well, leave I, us with? I, uh, it's the end of the school year. Mm. And there are a lot of people out there that buy presents for the teachers of, of their kids that are often like coffee mugs, things like that. So I encourage everybody to uh, give, the gi the give a gift that keeps on giving uh, and get your teacher a set of the Manifest Your Magnificence cards. Nice. Because that will really support the teacher in being able to support the kids in their classroom much more effectively. And if your kid's in their classroom or what were in their classroom, you know how important that is. So it's, uh, yeah. Nice. That's my little plug. Or once the app comes up, make and sure app, you get the app. app. And get the <laughs> app. Yes, get the app for sure. I'm very excited. It should be around September. Right. Yeah. yeah and if excited. you're interested in uh, deepening your relationships with kids in your life or kids that you work with or youth, or yourself, your inner child, come <laughs> out and take the Kids Coaching Connection program with us because it really, it, it's quite interesting. People often start taking the program because they want to do it for their kids. So right. they want to do it for their, the, the kids they work with or the youth that they work with. And it ends up being uh, much more powerful for them, mm -hmm. of, course, of course, because as you said, it all begins here. Yeah. And so when we are more in alignment uh, with who we be and our magnificence, then we can go out and support others, our, the kids, youth, and families in our lives to be all that they can be. Beautiful. Yeah. Susan, how can people find you? A uh, couple of ways. You can email me at susan at magnificentcreations.com. You can uh, contact me either at 416 708 Six two three two, or if you are not local, let's get the one eight six six number is one eight six six five one one three four one one, and you can uh, please go and look out the website, which is magnificentcreations.com. Beautiful. All right. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you. I'm so blessed. Thank you. Yes. And you've been listening to News for the Heart. We've been getting to the heart of what matters with Susan Housen. Thank you. Have a question for Lori and want to be on the next News from the Heart show? Drop us a line via instant feedback at bmajor.org. News from the Heart is brought to you by Intuitive Soul and is produced by Major Radio for Clear Channel's iHeartRadio and bmajor.org. 